Gunfire on the west side leaves two people dead and two others injured. One of those hurt is just seven years old. CBS 2 Chardet Gray is at Stroger Hospital with new, new details about the victims. A seven year old boy is being treated here at Stroger Hospital after being shot in East Garfield Park earlier today. His mom says he was playing with a scooter when shots rang out. Seven year old Aiden Carothers is one of the four victims who were shot in East Garfield Park near Whipple and Madison. His mother sharing this picture of her son says he'll be eight next month. He suffered a graze wound to the head. She says he's getting stitches, but is in good spirits. At the time of the shooting, he was playing with a scooter with family members. Neighbors who live nearby say they don't hear any gunshots in this specific area. Well, I'm shocked. I'm very, very shocked because these folks sit up here on the street and nothing go on and nothing happened. And we just don't have that going on around in this area. Police say responding officers helped the boy and took him to Stroger Hospital in their squad car. It's strange for me to drive up and they tell me this is going on. Police say around 2.30 this afternoon, four male victims were shot while standing in a vacant lot. Police gathered several shell casings on South Whipple Street. A 38-year-old victim was shot in the lower back. He was taken to Mount Sinai in critical condition. A 31 year old victim and a 33 year old victim were both shot in the head, but they did not survive after being taken to Stroger Hospital in Mount Sinai. While the motive behind the shooting is unclear, residents question why this happened in their neighborhood. And most of these people that live in this area know and care about each other. That's where it has always been. And for that come drive up and they tell me a kid got shot down there, I'm shocked. The boy's mother says her son may need surgery on the back of his head. Police say no one is in custody. Reporting at Stroger Hospital, Charday Gray, CBS 2 News.